Hey, it's Luke Lonian, and you're listening to 103.1 KFIL's Coach's Corner On Demand. And welcome back to Coach's Corner. With us now, the head coach of the Lewiston Altura Cardinals. It's Brent Olson. Coach, how's it going today? Hey, Luke, great to be here. Hey, thanks for chatting with us, Coach. We do appreciate it. A tough one. This past Thursday night, you took on Lake City, fell 34-6. Coach, uh, overall, uh, take us to the game and your thoughts on it. Well, I'd like to congratulate Coach Naram uh, over there at Lake City. Uh, they had a they had a, did a very good job, uh, well played game. Um, really nice night, a little chilly out there, but uh, you know we've known Coach Naram in Lake City. We've done camp with them for man, it's been probably 15 years that we've done summer camp with them, and we've scrimmaged over there for. Uh, quite a few years now so there's a lot of familiarity between these two teams and uh, you know it's uh, nice to go play someone that you know real well but uh, at the same time they know us really well so they were very well prepared and uh, you know they just um, had a few more athletes made a few more plays than we did but I thought uh, I thought it was our best game of the year that we played so far from a especially from a defensive standpoint and uh, offensively we were able to do some things as well but uh, they started out the game. They converted some third downs. I think probably the, our biggest concern was our third down defense. Uh, they were able to convert a couple of third and eights and third and tens on their first drive, and uh, they were able to score and go up six nothing. Um, they uh, we weren't able to do much on our first drive. I think we got a first down, but uh, we had to punt and and they got the ball back and and drove down and scored and. Uh, that happened kind of throughout the first half. We moved the ball a little bit, but just couldn't get anything. Um, sustained we did have a drive and we got inside the 20 on the very last right before half we were a little rushed trying to do the two minute drill and um just weren't able to uh convert on the, the last play before half in the end zone uh so we went into halftime down i think it was 27 27 0 uh in that first half um we made a few adjustments defensively in the second half and uh offensively as well and uh, we were more consistent than in the second half and uh, we were able to drive down and score Eli Jensen on our counter. Uh, he ran in, I think it was from five yards out to make the score uh, 27-6. And then uh, Lake City scored again um, with the both teams had their young guys. Well, for us, we have a lot of JV guys out there anyway uh, with our injuries. Um, but uh, they scored to make a final score 34-6. to uh, We had us down for 150, about 150 yards of offense. I don't have the numbers right in front of me here. Um, but uh, we had about 150 yards of offense. We had Lake City for about 300. Uh, the one win for us was that we uh, rushed, had a better rushing average for the game than uh, did Lake City. I believe we had a 4.2 yards a carry, and we held them to four yards a carry. So our rush defense actually did pretty well. Uh, our pass defense, though, uh, does need to continue to have some uh, – need some work uh they did a real nice job of rolling out uh during the game and protecting the qb to give him uh give him some time they didn't do too many just straight drop backs it was mostly kind of sprint out or roll out to get the qb out of the pocket where he had that run pass option and uh he did a very good job their quarterback was very accurate and they had a couple good receivers um they had one i think it was a 65 yard touchdown where it was more of like a a 12 yard pass and 50 yard run uh, and that we were disappointed in our tackling uh, that at, on that play, and we should have held him to like a 15-yard gain. But then he, we missed a couple tackles, and he went the distance. And you know, we 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 lack a little bit of that top-end speed. And once he got in the open field, we we don't have anybody that that was able to catch him. Uh, so that's something that we need to shore up a little bit is, is making sure tackles and, and not dropping to the ground and, you know, drive, you know, a lot of times we take, we want to take them low because we uh, usually are a little bit smaller, but not just drop to the ground and, and go through legs instead of just dropping down. So, um, you know, we were pretty pleased with how we played all in all. And, and um, probably the biggest win of the night was nobody got uh, no serious injuries at all. Uh, that's, I think that's the first game we can say that since week one. Um, you know, it's actually all year. I think that's the first game we can say that, even including the scrimmage. Um, we've we've lost people every game, and uh, this was the first one we didn't. So that's a win for us, especially with our low numbers. And and uh, we've got uh, a short turnaround this week. It was nice to play on Friday or Thursday, excuse me, because of uh, this being the MEA week. So we've got St. Charles coming to town on Wednesday for our our big rivalry game, our Hammer game, and um, it's one of those games. I know that uh, St. Charles has. Uh, uh, had a down, a little bit of a down year by their standards, like we have, and so it's going to be a very uh, intense game and, and play for that trophy. And I, I know we won it for the first handful of years that we did it, and they've won it now the last three.
three or four times we've played. So um, we want to get the get that trophy back, and that's something we're going to focus on this week and uh, and hopefully play a great game and come out with a win. Brent Olson with us, the head coach of the Lewis and Altura Cardinals. Coach, you mentioned it. Uh, the injury bug, it seemed to bite you harder than anybody else uh, in the area. And just what's the message to the team as you guys prepare every week? And it seems like you have somebody, you know, tweak something or hurt something. And just every week, it's just the next man up. What's the message to the team uh, as you go in and get hit by this injury bug? Well, uh, you know, it's, we, we talk, we've been preaching about, you know, this is building towards the future. And I know that uh, our juniors and seniors, you know, I mean, especially our seniors don't like to hear that, that, hey, guys, this is, uh, you know, we, we've had our struggles this year playing some, I think we're starting three ninth graders and five sophomores right now. Um, that's, it's tough to swallow for them, but, uh, you know, it, it will benefit us a couple years down the road. You know, kids like to see something, you know, the instant gratification that results right now, and, and we haven't quite seen that. We have seen improvement, uh, but it hasn't shown in wins and losses. But uh, we're, we're getting better, and, the, and the, the best thing I think about it this year is, you know, injuries aside, the guys are stayed positive. I mean, after the game Thursday, everybody was upbeat and chipper, and, you know, it's one thing to – to lose to lose games and then be you know really down and, and hard on each other but you know we've been real positive and everybody's been uh, in good spirits so uh, I think that's the best thing we have going right now is uh, kids are working hard they're showing up to practice they're they're competing they are you know working out in the weight room to get bigger and stronger uh, so you know that's something that uh, that we can kind of hang our hat on right now as we you know, finish out this year and even look, I know we don't like to look past anything, but, you know, as we look to the future, you got to kind of do that to keep that positivity that, hey, look, we're getting better. And you guys that are playing this year, you young guys, especially, you know, you're not ninth graders anymore. You're kind of sophomores because some of them have started the whole season. Um, you know, you sophomores, you played the whole year, you're kind of juniors, really, uh, in our minds. So we, we want to see that continued growth and that continued improvement. And we have, and, and that's kind of something we can hang our hat on from this year. Brent Olson with us, the head coach of the Lewiston Altura Cardinals, fell to Lake City on Thursday night, 34 to 6. They take on St. Charles on Wednesday night. Short turnaround. We'll have the game right here on 103.1 KFIL coming up on Wednesday night. Coach, as always, we do appreciate the time. Thank you so much, and good luck next week. All right. Thanks, Luke.